Great Falls Community Food Bank and Showdown are teaming up once again for their annual food drive. I think this is around the 20th year that Showdown has done this for us and it's just a huge uh, fun fundraiser for us. The Great Falls Community Food Bank is kicking off the new year with the Showdown Ski Area annual food drive. On January 7th, you can get a $15 full day all area lift ticket if you bring 15 cans of food or make a $20 donation to the food bank. If you already have a lift ticket or a season pass, you can donate $20 to be entered into a drawing for a free pass for next season. I think they raised over $5,000 for us in addition to about 2,000 pounds worth of food. Last year was the largest year in the fundraiser's history and they are hoping that it is even more successful this year. The fundraiser follows a $10,000 donation from General Mills to the Community Food Bank earlier in the week. Yeah, General Mills is one of probably, maybe I'd say a dozen places that literally will come through for us every single year. And General Mills has given us hundreds of thousands of dollars over the past 30 years. Looking ahead to 2024, the food bank is hoping grocery prices are stagnant or even lower so that they can continue to support the city in the least expensive way possible. You know, the goal at the food bank is always just to make sure that we have enough food for all of our agencies, uh, keep our backpack program up to date, which feeds kids K through 6 on weekends and holidays throughout the school year. However, through it all, whether it's local skiers or not, the food bank could not ask for a better community to be a part of. We're really blessed to live in Great Falls. There's, there's a plethora of nonprofits in Great Falls, and we all struggle, but we all survive as well. And so I think that we're very fortunate to live in an extremely generous community. The food drive is successful every year, and it's a great, easy, and fun way to support your local food bank. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.